We're just gonna Black Widow our way out of this. Oh my god, you're gonna make me fall off this goddamn cliff, Dutch. Look at Micah's beer belly. We're feeding you too much. I will kill for my family. You will get your family killed. There's a difference, Dutch! Here we go. Ah, shit, here we go again. Her, are her eyes yeah. red? Well, at least you're alive. Barely! From oh my now, god. Yeah. Oh! Mr. Bullard, I'm so sorry! Molly's back! Molly's back! Hi everybody, it's your girl Tofu. Today we are back with some Red Dead Redemption 2. And before we get started with today's episode, I have some thoughts, I have some notes to share. Let's just do that real quickly. So first of all, I just want to take a little moment and I want to say thank you to Hosea and Lenny for some great times. I'm kind of upset about Hosea because I genuinely felt that he was the only logical, reasonable, and rational person within camp. And I think he actually kind of balanced out Dutch as well as he possibly could. And frankly, I would not be surprised that if without Hosea, Dutch will end up killing everyone in camp somehow in the future because of his stupid ass plans. Speaking of Dutch and his stupid ass plans, I think I can make a very compelling argument for Dutch having narcissistic personality disorder. Some of you uh, mentioned that it could be borderline personality disorder. I would have to disagree. Now let's get into that. <laughs> I legitimately had to make an account to get access to this information, so hope y'all are grateful. Instead of looking at anything from like um, Mayo or like Psychology Central or something, I thought I'd give us like the actual kind of criteria for narcissistic personality disorder from the DSM-5. Well, this isn't the actual DSM-5, but it definitely references the DSM-5 more than any of the other articles I looked at. So let's just take a second, look at this. I wanna try and convince you why I think there's the possibility, a very strong possibility that Dutch has narcissistic personality disorder. So it's a cluster B personality disorder defined as comprising a pervasive pattern of grandiosity in fantasy or behavior, a constant need for admiration, and and a lack of empathy it begins by early adulthood and presents in a variety of contexts as indicated by the presence of at least five of the following nine criteria so let's take a look at this criteria shall we so a grandiose sense of self-importance uh, preoccupation with fantasies of unlimited success power brilliance beauty or ideal love unlimited success and ideal love that's dutch a belief that he or she is special and unique and can only be understood by or should associate with other special or high status people or institutions. That's Dutch. A need for excessive admiration. Uh, maybe not so much that one. You could make a case for it, but I think I can... I don't think we have to count that one right now. A sense of entitlement. Interpersonally exploitive behavior. He is very manipulative to those around him. A lack of empathy. Now... With the whole Molly thing, you can definitely see a lack of empathy with Dutch, but we we could leave that one out because maybe that's just one circumstance of him exhibiting this behavior. So let's leave out lack of empathy. Envy of others or belief that others are envious of him or her. Mm, yeah, kind of, yeah. Uh, demonstration of arrogant and haughty behaviors or attitudes. So seven out of the nine criteria, I believe that Dutch meets for narcissistic personality disorder. Okay, something else that I also found interesting is that patients in the throes of narcissistic grandiosity may display signs of hypomania or mania. Now, there have been several occurrences where Dutch is, uh, he's just like depressed or disappointed, right? But then he gets these huge, brilliant ideas with huge plans. And I don't think those plans actually are great ones. So that could be possibly a symptom of the hypomania described here, maybe. Okay, something that we'll talk about in a minute is NPD must be distinguished from the three from the other three cluster B personality disorders, which are as follows antisocial, borderline, and histrionic. Now, Dutch definitely does exhibit some of the symptoms or behaviors, characteristics of borderline personality disorder. But we have um, a really interesting article here that we can look at in a second of kind of like the differences between abusers with narcissistic and borderline. And I think that could really help us distinguish why I think Dutch has a higher possibility of narcissistic as opposed to borderline. Um, yum, 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 yum. I, I can't diagnose Dutch. I am not certified. I do not have, I, I don't have a graduate degree in this, but I do have an undergraduate degree now your bitch is graduated anywho this is fairly reputable information uh obviously like a 
legitimate therapist would have to formally diagnose Dutch with this, but I'm just making a case. I'm not diagnosing. I'm just making a case for it. Mm, pretty compelling argument though. So one more thing before we get into this article real quick, which is probably slightly less reputable than what we just looked at, although the sources look pretty, pretty great, but it, it's still like, again, like an article on the internet and I haven't really checked out all of the sources like exactly, but the textbook that I have here, pretty damn reputable. The textbook basically, can you even see it? I don't know. Um, this textbook basically said the same exact thing as the article we just looked at that referenced the DSM-5. However, it, I highlighted a few things that I thought were especially interesting uh, when in regards to narcissistic personality disorder. So I highlighted this. Because of their charm, they often make favorable first impressions, yet they can rarely maintain long-term relationships. Okay, okay. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Uh, Dutch is very charming at first. He does make great first impressions and he is unable to hold on to Molly. He just got bored and decided to move on with Mary Beth. No big deal, but like that that's a little interesting tidbit. Interesting, very interesting. Another little interesting tidbit here is, though grandiose, some react to criticism or frustration with bouts of rage, humiliation, embitterment. Others may react with cold indifference and still others become extremely pessimistic and filled with depression. Just saying. They may have periods of zest that alternate with periods of disappointment. I believe in one of our earlier episodes, I mentioned that it kind of seems like Dutch has a lot of highs and lows, which led me to make a little comment about how there could be the possibility that he's like bipolar. But it's interesting that in this textbook, they make the distinction that you can have these sort of like highs and lows with narcissistic personality disorder. Mm, I think I only highlighted a few more things. Let's go through it just real quick. So there are several different theories about why that explain why narcissistic personality disorder fucking exists, but there were like two theories in particular that stood out to me in Dutch's particular situation. Psychodynamic theorists, more than others, have theorized about narcissistic personality disorder, and they again propose that the problem begins with cold, rejecting parents. Um, I think his mom died, and I think he like ran away from home when he was like 16. I know he mentioned it a little bit when we were fishing with him. We might have been fishing with him and Hosea, but like he mentioned a little bit about, I guess, his mom and his family life. I'd have to take a look at that again, but I just thought this was really interesting. They argue that some people with this background spend their lives defending against feeling unsatisfied, rejected, unworthy, ashamed, and wary of the world. They do so by repeatedly telling themselves that they are actually perfect and desirable, and also by seeking admiration from others. So that was a psychodynamic theorist's explanation for narcissistic personality disorder. Now the sociocultural um, theorist for narcissistic personality disorder said, um, Western cultures in particular, which encourage self-expression, individualism, and competitiveness are considered likely to produce more generations of narcissism. So in the, in the day and age of America changing so drastically um, during Dutch's lifetime, it could be another, I don't think the primary explanation for why it occurred in him, but it could be just like another little like factor that could exacerbate narcissistic personality disorder for him if he indeed does have it. So that takes care of the textbook, that takes care of the DSM-5 article that we looked at. Now let's take a look about why I think you're wrong by saying that uh, Dutch has borderline personality disorder. So blah, 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 introduction. All right, let's take a look at these. Well, I actually kind of don't want to read all this to you because I'll put the link in the description. You can look at it if you want. And this intro is already going to be really fucking long because I talk forever. But you know what? Let's just let's just let's just peruse this real quick, right? They can both uh, pose harm to their loved ones. On the other hand, those with narcissistic traits will harm others through gaslighting, triangulation, and sabotage as a way to bolster their grandiose image and false sense of superiority. Borderlines have an intense fear of, of abandonment and with how Dutch interacts with Arthur and how he's always kind of like paranoid that like Arthur's going to leave or not trust him or whatever, you can make a case that Dutch has a fear of abandonment. However, this seems more like Dutch rather than this up here. Narcissists manipulate by devaluing and discarding their victims to humiliate and control them. This includes covertly and overtly putting their victims down, subjecting them to stonewalling, emotionally withdrawing from them, invalidating them, as well as abandoning their loved ones without giving them any sense of closure or, exp or explanation. I know the Molly situation cannot uh, be the sole example for why Dutch may have narcissistic personality disorder, but I think it cannot be overlooked. I think it's a very prominent 
example of how Dutch treats those around him. Uh, immense rage for both of them. Okay, rage stems primarily from his or her sense of entitlement or grandiosity being challenged. Any perceived slight to the narcissist's intelligence, character status, and anything else they value will be met with aggressive and contemptuous attempts to regain a sense of superiority. It looks like narcissists may not split, but they do something very similar, which is known as idealization and devaluation, where they are prone to putting their loved ones on a pedestal, only to swiftly knock them off. And that reminds me of how he treats Arthur a lot of times. He'll see Arthur as his brother or his son, his his right hand man, second man, whatever, you know, like Arthur's his guy, you know, Arthur's his fucking boy. But then like, he'll get into a fucking mood and then all of a sudden Arthur's like basically nothing. Um, what else? It is commonly assumed that both disorders stem from trauma. Um, borderline is more associated with trauma, a little bit more so than narcissistic personality disorder. Yeah, so just to be clear, the origin of personality disorders is a complex topic and, it, uh, topic, and it usually involves interaction between biological predispositions and environmental influences. So um, there's the possibility that if Dutch had had a perfectly happy, beautiful, wonderful childhood, he could still kind of be similar to how he is today just because of his uh, genetic predisposition maybe towards narcissistic personality disorder. Um, borderlines may have more of a capacity for empathy than narcissists. Interesting, interesting. You know how when Dutch talked about Charles and how he like distracted so that Dutch and Arthur could go past the guards like at the very end of the last episode, he doesn't say, no, Charles, I care about you, don't do that. He's like, yes, my man Charles, yes, that's a guy that I like. It always kind of seems uh, in the way that like Dutch talks about the members of the gang, he like pretends to care for them, but in reality, he, he just kind of uses everybody um, and he doesn't really have sadness when they pass. He, he views it more as like an inconvenience or he's proud of them for sacrificing themselves. So perhaps that could be the lack of empathy that they're kind of talking about here. Um, and then there's like a few other things. And honestly, I'm just kind of getting bored. Um, uh, here's the references if you care. I'll put this link, I'll put like all the links that we looked at in the description today. So if you want to do more research on your own, you can. I, I just wanted to take a second and just kind of talk about Dutch because like the more I think about Dutch, the angrier I get. And I do think that we can make a really compelling argument about the possibility of him having narcissistic personality disorder. Let me know if you have anything to say in the comments about this. Let me know if you've done research on your own and you still disagree or something. What, uh, let me know what you're thinking. I do think it is very possible that Dutch exhibits borderline personality disorder behavior while having narcissistic personality disorder primarily. Primarily. I think that is 100% possible. I believe I read it in here somewhere. Maybe I'm just making it up. Who knows? I'm not like the most reliable source, but like I did get my degree in psychology. I do know some stuff. Um, but if you guys are more well versed on the topic, definitely let me know. Um, educate my graduated ass. I'm glad we had this talk. It's something I've been thinking about since we last played. I think that's it. I think we can finally get into the video now. It's been like such a fucking long intro. I'm so sorry, but this was this was something that was really interesting to me, and I wanted to share. Uh, blah, 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 and I wanted to share my thoughts on it, especially because of how I feel Dutch kind of impacted the last episode and you know the deaths of two more people. Well, actually three if you count Kieran because Dutch's pride and you know, some of this other stuff that we talked about here is Loki kind of responsible for Kieran's death because Dutch and the O'Driscolls and how he can't let go of things or he can't try and just like let them win and run away, go somewhere new and so they won't bother us anymore. So like he's Loki responsible for three different people's death. I wanted to talk about this. Let's get into today's episode, I'm done talking. <laughs> All right, we have no help. We have no items. Do we even have a journal? Who fucking knows? Oh, I guess we can smoke. Sure, let's fucking smoke. Oh, wait, I have no idea. It says, look, I'm doing something wrong. I'm following directions incorrectly. It's fine. It's whatever. I thought we were going to smoke. I don't think... Oh, bro, I don't think we even have our... Wait! Ho, 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 ho! There are people! Uh. 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 Boy! You're alive. Arthur! Oh boy, that's it. You're, you're alive! Wait. He might be showing emotion. Brother, mm -hmm. Jorge, it is a miracle! It is a goddamn miracle! Is it? Mm -hmm. I have something to drink. I feel kind of bad about, drink. like, Somebody destroying Dutch drink. in our intro. <laughs> he actually oh, seems so. genuinely happy to see us. Oh, or you, it's just a learned behavior oh, so that you could blend in better with society. Who knows? Regardless, I'm kind of happy to see everybody. I literally thought everyone was dead except for me. 
He looks a little rough. So, where the hell are we? We are on the island of Guam. Javier asked a local. It's a old sugar plantation island. Second island east of Cuba. Is it anywhere near Australia or Tahiti? It's on the way, I guess. So, what next? People up there, people up there. I don't know. <laughs> well, next I guess we're gonna get shot. Encadenen a estos hombres. Gentlemen, this is quite a welcome. Who are you? Senor, por favor. We are no one. <laughs> What's your name? We are definitely someone else. Aiden O'Malley. Is that so? O'Malley! What are you doing, Mr. O'Malley? Surviving. He's training to become a surgeon. We were lost at sea in the storm. Is that so? No. I'm in the habit of looking like this. Is all of this really necessary? We got enough troubles around here right now, Mr. O'Malley, without taking a chance on a bunch of vagabonds. Behave yourselves and no harm will befall you. Well, we're not very good at Vamos. that, actually. Vamos. Vamos. Oh, yeah, we are that struggling. You got a long walk ahead oh, of fuck, you. but we have no... Oh, we do have a little bit of energy. Oh, I guess we rested up by the campfire a bit. I don't get your drift, Mr. Uh... Oh, he really don't want to share his name. Okay. <laughs> Senior overseer for Alberto Fusar. We run the third most productive sugar plantation in the Northern Caribbean. Of course, where there's money to be made, there's trouble. What sort of trouble? No, oh, the usual sort. People wanting what ain't theirs and others telling them to take it. I don't get you. Labor troubles. And other thieves and pirates looking to disrupt our ways of working. But yeah, that's not us. For you. We would never do not such a thing. As upsetting as it'll be for them. Mr. Fusar has a lot of very powerful friends. I will bet that he does. Bunch of Haitian pirates won't frighten him. They'll be strung up in the streets soon enough. And do we seem like Haitian pirates to you, Mr. Simon? seem like someone or other we was headed to tahiti <laughs> you was going to scenic route just as soon as i know exactly who you are you'll be free oh no meantime you'll not starve that's good at least Cabo, llévese a estos hombres a la carsa junto con el grupo de cucarachas de ese campesino cualquier tontería que hagan disparales a todos I love the Spanish Welcome language. Obama, that was harsh, though. Excuse <laughs> me. Yeah. You know, these guys actually what have now? a lot of sense, though. Aiden, They're taking precautions against us. What do you think? I think we've got to get out of here. Yeah, but they can't find out who we are. Well, for now, we're stuck, man. How do we keep our identities a secret? How are we supposed to make that work? I hope they don't communicate with other authorities well. on different places. For what it's worth, I think I would have preferred Tahiti. You and me both. Look at the way Arful, uh, Arful. Look at the way Arthur is shuffling. Arful. What a beautiful island, though. So exotic looking compared to the just wild west setting that we've been in for the Who are these people? majority of the Who game. Knows? Well, they got them chained and lashed, but they don't look too dangerous. Excuse me, sir. Who are our new friends here? <laughs> Criminales. Hmm. What crime did they commit? Insurrection. <laughs> Insurrection? That's quite a word. Cállate, señor Fuentes. Muévanse. Todos. Muévete. I know they're speaking like really simple Spanish, but like it just warms my heart. <laughs> I love hearing it. And I I'm so glad that I learned. Well, as much as I could while I was in my undergrad, but I kind of wish I had time to do like a, a full major in Spanish or to study abroad. They had like a Costa Rica study abroad like thing that you could have done. I really wish I could have done something like that and really come back fluent in the language because that was the goal of the program in Costa Rica or some of the other study abroad programs is to come back knowing the language completely. And then you'd get credits for it. And your tuition was the same, but you'd have to pay for, like, room and board. And I'm like, that's an extra, like, $5,000 I did not have, so I didn't study abroad. 
<laughs> I really wish I did, though. Oh, lordy. <laughs> Look at the little hop he does. Oh, they move quick, don't they? Is this the insurrection that they were mentioning earlier? Oh my god. Why aren't y'all helping me? Help me, damn it! Oh my god, no! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Lordy, I, my health is not doing too great. No cap. Bro, I cannot keep dying like this. <laughs> the timing on that, I swear. Okay, um, clearly hiding behind the rock was not working for us. Let's try that again. <laughs> oh my god, it's so hot. I really regret wearing like a sweater type of thing. This was a mistake. <laughs> Okay, we're already doing marginally better than last time. Except I can't see him through the goddamn fucking leaf. Oh, well, I didn't really even do anything, but... Oh shit, I was gonna loot. I wanted to loot! Fine, it's whatever. Damn. Reinforcements. We need to get out of here! Our French. Troubles. Come on, come on, David! Everyone, some... follow me! Oh. Big David! Oh, okay. Come, come, come. I thought those were, thought those, were those, uh, those guys talking. Uh, uh, get out of here! No! Get out of here! There's get of Javier them. now! We gotta move, Dad! Get him! I'm not losing we'll another fucking you. person two seconds into the episode! Go, Grab go. him! Oh my god. He's probably going to die. What a fucking surprise. Thought it was gonna be Charles? No, but I guess it's Javi. Really cool action scene here, though. Come on, Arthur. Really does look like a movie. Quickly, I have some guns stashed here. Come. Okay, we're getting some supplies. We got a good gun. Yash, 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 yash. Oh, how did I miss that? That is bull malarkey. Wait, crouch down, bitch. Okay, okay, there we go. I can't even see. Well, I guess it works, so I guess it's like, okay. <laughs> very nice, very nice. Okay. Oh, me too. I don't even know where they are. It's fine. Oh, I see them. Oh my god! Oh, very nice, very excellent. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Nice, very nice. Oh shit! Oh well, that'll work too. Not if I have anything to do with it. Oh, they're already gone. They're already fucking gone. Damn. Come on, follow me. Quick. This is gonna be a fun chapter, y'all. I can tell. Already crazy. What are you doing here? I have no idea. Running from somebody or something, I guess. How went we all? Hetul Fontaine. Dutch Vanderlyn. These drowned rats are Micah, Bill, and Arthur. Okay. Well, Fusa will be desperate to find you. We must be very careful. So, who is this Fusa? A tyrant, place. driven by nothing but power and greed. Our only purpose is to work ourselves to death to make him rich. Leon wants the people to stand up to Fusa, but most are too afraid. And you? I am not from here. I bring things in and off the islands behind Colonel Fusa's back. Let's, uh, let's rest a moment. Down there is Aqua Dolce, Fusa's compound. The sugar cane these poor men kill themselves farming gets processed in that factory there. Are we gonna blow it up? more than slaves shipped in from other islands. A group escaped yesterday into the jungle, hoping to find a way back to their homes. But they got now caught. Fusa's men are out hunting them down. Oh. That old fort? Cinco Torres. My men and I use that as a hideout when we are here. Come on. I know somewhere you men can rest. Can we trust you? I don't see you have any choice. I'm the only one who can arrange a boat for you. 
Good point. But good point. I need something in return. Help Leon with that group of escape workers, and then come meet me at the front. Alrighty. If you help us get back our friend and get out of here, we will do everything we can. Thank you. Gracias. If your friend is still alive, Javi? you will have him at Fusa's compound. Oh, okay. There is a cave hidden below the cliffs. It will lead you right there. I thought Javi was dead meat. Thank you. Oops. The workers are somewhere in the jungle. Hopefully we can get to them before Fusa does. Of course. Gentlemen. Well, goodbye. If this is a tropical Why is paradise, that so attractive? <laughs> so far it ain't up to much. I'll go scope the entrance to that cave. Arthur. I need to get some rest. Well, you're right. We all need to relax. <clears throat> what a mess. I am so sorry, boys. Get some sleep, Dutch. Micah, hmm. guard this spot. Bill. <clears throat> Do some more scouting. Dutch sounds rather carefully sincere. Oh, watch me be so wrong about NPD. <laughs> we've rested up a bit. At least we've got two guns recovered. It's not like I bought some really great guns or anything in the last episode, right before we got fucking stranded on an island. But you know, it's all okay. Wait, wait. Why is this gun here? What? Oh. Oh. Well, let's just take all of it. Is that bad? Do I have to care about the health of camp when we're literally stranded? I don't think I'm going to. Let's just take all the snackies, too. Sorry, y'all. Um, you're gonna have to starve. I took all of the snacks. All right, who are you? Oh, you. Still can't believe it. It's you. Hosea, Lenny. Hosea was dying anyway. Lenny. Hmm, well... You know what they say about pride before a fall. That's all you gotta say. You bitch. Well, try to keep your head straight. Whatever, Morgan. <laughs> what a dick. Oh, my X button's a little sticky. Who is she having trouble today? All right, so there's a question Off mark over then, here. Morgan. Dutch is waiting for you, and uh, <laughs> you have that worker situation. Oh, shut to up. So annoying. What are you gonna do? Guard the spot, he said. I don't know. I ran away before the subtitles could give me a full picture. How do you suppose we're going to get there? I don't really have a horse. Um, I guess we'll just- yeah, the horse is not on the island. Okay, you guys can't see it up there, but I, the game gave me a notification. I think it's kind of funny. I guess we'll just run all the way to Dutch. Wait, I have an itch. Oh my god, I have an itch. Oh my god. Uh, okay, we're fine. We're good. I'm not like sweating. It's not like fucking hot in here. It's not like summer or anything and I don't have fucking AC. What? Yeah, that would be fucking crazy, wouldn't it? But I don't have fucking AC and it's like 80 degrees outside and I'm actually, you know, some of you may say, oh, that's nothing, but like, Lord Jesus, do I wish I had a box fan or something? Like, I have a little fan here, but it's, hmm, it's not that great. Oh my god, I'm actually so uncomfortable right now. The sweat. The sweat. <gasps> Look at the pretty birdie. Oh, it's so pretty. All right. Oh wait, there's guards there? Do I have to take them out? <gasps> I guess I'll just have to take another way around. I don't want them to see me. Wait, they're like literally everywhere. What the fuck? That's not okay. Oh, look how beautiful this place is. Wait, why are they all looking for me? I didn't bump into anybody or nothing. I didn't commit no crimes or nothing. Why are they- What? Why are they after- Bitch, I didn't even do anything! Wait, oh. Oh shit. Oh well, I really didn't mean to do that. Uh, mistakes have been made. That is... Hmm. I was going the way the waypoint had me go and the waypoint is honestly, it was sabotaging me. That right there, that was no, no fault of mine. <laughs> down, down. All right, let's try to go find Dutch in a different way. Let's not try to really follow the waypoint this time. Yes, I feel like that is the key here. Actually, it looks like we can't really go this way though. We'd die if we went this way. Oh, I think we do have to go the kind of way. What? You know what? Let's just let's just run into this question mark. Maybe maybe the question mark is actually going to help us. Maybe it'll give us a horse. I don't I don't know. Maybe the question mark is a horse. I also don't know. I do want to take a moment to acknowledge how kind of cute Arthur looks. 
in this like outfit without a coat. I don't know why. He's just very attractive. I mean, he's always attractive. He, uh, Arthur could wear a fucking trash bag and look kind of cute in it. Wait, I don't, this isn't particularly helpful. It's a dead person. Shit. I don't look good. Okay. How was that? A dart. And now we're going to die. I can't even get out my guns. So... It's a sedative dart thingy. <laughs> I don't know. A tranquilizer thingy. Yes! One of those. And here I thought this was gonna be something helpful. Where we would get a horse. It's not. <laughs> Fuck. Who are you? 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 Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? I'm asking you. What are you doing here? 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 Come on. I'm an American. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. What? Why that name? Okay, but there's... Do I have to just do it a few times? I'm not finding any means of escape here. Oh! Oh! I, ha I found a means of escape. We're just gonna Black Widow our way out of this. You know, like, Avengers 2012. I thought we were rocking hard enough. Apparently, we're not rocking hard enough. <laughs> Damn. Am I not rocking, like, good enough for you? Like... Well, that took a fucking minute. That looked really cool. <laughs> Hello! Tell me more. Who are you? Quien eres? You okay? I don't know. Uh, maybe there's still time to get to the other workers. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, I think I hear voices coming from the other ruins down there. Let's sneak down and take a look. Which way? I'll show you. But this, you don't look good. You should rest here. Okay. You'll need this. Go. Go. Come, follow me. Yeah, maybe we're supposed to do this first before Stay the Dutch thing. behind me. I know a way we can sneak around. Okay. Keep quiet and don't kill anyone. Gotcha, gotcha. No if kills. They catch us, they'll murder the workers for sure. Right, all right, all right. We can do this. One of Hercule's men. Hercule. Okay, okay, I got this. I'm not gonna kill anyone today. Quick. Hide. Over there. I don't think I hid the right way. <laughs> it's fine. This way now. Okay, 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 I got you, sir. I got you. I got you. Hey, guard. Keep out of fight. Okay, follow me. Keep quiet. Move over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm. Then move around me, bitch. Oh my god. Two more ahead. Take cover on the other side of this door. Fue creado por ratas. Ratas? Creado por el mismo diablo. Ya casi acabo. ¿Saben? 
por mucho que disfruto viendo un socialista colgando. Ahorcar es un trabajo tedioso. ¿eh? Very scary, very scary, very scary. Estás enfermo. Toca ver cómo sigan los prisioneros. Are you sick? Estás enfermo. Si gringo ya abrió la boca. Claro que abrió la boca. Siempre lo hace. Ooh, that guy should have probably totally seen me. But he didn't, so we're okay. Out of the way. Jesus, I'm sorry, Mr. Rude. Follow me. Let's go. Maldito bastardo! Oh shit! Oh shit! He said didn't kill anyone. Oh shoot the ropes! Shoot the ropes! I can't even see. Um, I'm trying to look up there. Did that work? Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, cool. How is no one alerted? I don't know, but it's okay. Damn. They're coming from behind us. Well, I, it's not letting me run over them. What do you want me to fucking do? Oh, Jesus Christ. What are, what are you doing, Arthur? Crouch behind that. Okay. Uh, like right there. Is there another one? I can't even see them. Oh, they're scripted. That's why. It all makes sense now. <laughs> they were supposed to come after I kill a certain amount of people. Oh, shit me. Ah, no, no. God damn that. There we go. Is there someone like right next to me? Yeah, there is. Cool. There's one on the roof. Where? I don't even. I don't even know where that roof is. I don't see the roof. Is it up there? Oh, there's the roof. Cool. Nice. One more. One more. One more, buddy boy. Where is he? Why? Why is he not appearing? Oh, there he is. Ah, oh, no. Come back here. Oh, Jesus Christ. My shooting there was absolutely horrendous. No one talk about it. No one need to talk about it. There's a lot of sway on Arthur. Let's blame it on Arthur's sway. He was just wavy like a wave right there. This place makes me miss home. Take care, my friend. Hercules getting a boat lined up to get you and your men out of here. Just meet him at Cinco Torres. We'll be there. He's good, good. Here, this is for you. I didn't know he was armless. It's not much, but it's the least we can do. Good luck getting home. Oh, I like him. How did I not know he was armless? How did I not notice that? I feel kind of bad. I feel kind of ignorant. Hey, at least we got something. Yeah, we got some money. That's great. That's cool. All right, let's see. <laughs> let's see if we can find Dutch now. Oh, oh my God! It's a it's a iguana snake lizard thingy. Oh, <gasps> did you guys see that? That was so cool. All right, so I still don't know how I'm supposed to do this. I don't suppose I can do it like this, huh? Would that be an incorrect assumption? Would it be bad to go around this way? I don't think it would be bad to go around this way at all. I think I'm making a very good decision, actually. I, I take that back. Why are all the guards after me again? I, I still didn't do anything. God damn it. How have they been alerted? I've done jack shit to them. I have done absolutely nothing to these homeboys. Yet they're still fucking after me. I can't. <laughs> How am I supposed to get through all these guys? <sighs> okay, so clearly going around doesn't fucking work. I need to do something else. Why can't I go? I didn't do anything. They just saw me. They just keep seeing me for no reason. And I, I keep losing money. I feel offended. All right, let's just go straight into it this time. Let's not try to avoid anyone. Let's try to just run straight into the bad guys and just murder them as soon as possible. Maybe there's just something scripted we have to do when we run straight into them. And maybe that's the problem here. I don't know, but this is stupid so far. I just want to go around them. <laughs> I don't like confrontation today, okay? I'm in a place in my life where I just cannot handle stress like this, okay? All right? <laughs> Are they after me again? Oh, Jesus Christ. Am I gonna die again? I'm just gonna let it happen. Bro, I... I don't know. I thought I was supposed to go to Dutch. I missed something. I clearly fucking missed something. Well, lost $70.
great. <laughs> Two thousand years. And one haircut, and one week later. All right. So originally, I didn't think I could go down this way because I thought I'd fucking die. But apparently, this is the way I'm supposed to go. Like I'm not supposed to go around to the Dutch mission. I'm supposed to go just, just, we just go straight through. Just, go, we just gotta go straight through. Apparently. So, um, I think. Should we just hop down? Oh wait! Ooh. Okay, well we didn't die like I thought we would. I was I was about to say I'm wondering if we could go around here or something, but we we already just we just we just hippity hopped on down. Nothing we can do about it now. <laughs> we already injured ourselves just a bit. So you know what I don't understand is why did the waypoint fuck us up? You know the waypoint should have told us to go this way, but no, I guess they want me to think for myself or something. I'm not a huge fan of that. I like being told what to do. I, I, I'm, I'm pretty submissive when it comes to my game directions. I want to be instructed, uh, dominated by my game instructions. Oh no! Ah! That didn't fucking happen. You saw absolutely nothing happen. Okay, okay, we did. Oh god. That was fucking exhausting. <laughs> so, uh, oh. What's the plan? We're well, finally here. Cave, Jesus Christ. And also a guide. She's up ahead. I think we can trust her. Follow me. Shimmy. The entrance is along here. Just watch your foot. Shimmy, shimmy, ah. Drake. Swa la la la. Drake. Swa la la la. Swa la la la. Swa what do we do when we get Javier? Well, uh, gonna get the hell out of here. Man. Set sail for the one place. Ain't nobody gonna be expecting us. Where would that be? Get everybody together and get ourselves back on course. Where would that be? Place we just escaped from. Are you kidding? <laughs> well, I guess we'd have to go back and get the rest of the gang, right? You I mean, that makes sense. To sand me? If it was you got left, you'd want us to go back. I'd want it, but I wouldn't expect it. <laughs> That's the point. Ain't no one gonna expect it. We come That's what back you think. <laughs> Gather everyone, and we leave before anyone realizes we've even resurrected. I don't like that plan, Insects actually. You or something, cause you gone, friend. I feel like that's not gonna work well. It's not gonna work the way we think it's gonna work. We look like <laughs> what we are, a bunch of desperate on the run. But with the women, a change of clothes, <laughs> we're a choir or a gang of pilgrims or something. Whatever you say. I mean, a bunch of penniless fugitives on some Caribbean dump. Weird transition there. Sneaking through caves while two of our best men got shot back home. How could I doubt you, Dutch? You got no idea, Arthur. No idea at all. I will do whatever it takes for us to survive. I guess. The Dutch will do whatever it takes. For Dutch to survive. Dutch is going to do whatever it takes for him to survive. Everyone else just is. Unfortunate collateral damage, That's right? What I'm I... Hold on. Why? <sighs> Gloria! I'm already fucking annoyed with him. Buenas <laughs> noches. Buenas noches. Dinero, the money, the gold. She, she, she kind of looks scary. Damelo. Oh, it's genuine, you old hag. Vamos. Vamos. Rápido. Now that gold right there, that's the last bit of gold I have in my bank. <laughs> the rest of it is... So that entire bank mission was for nothing? Exactly. <sighs> Lenny and Hosea died was for nothing then? Oh my god. See, 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 see what I'm talking about when it comes to Dutch? <laughs> it's never worth it. You Never know, fucking worth well, it. Fusar, one of the fellas Bronte pointed out to us at the party in San Denis. Yeah, you're right. I didn't remember I that. I knew I'd heard that name before. Did uh, we meet him? So I remember I meeting the mayor. Leon, but that situation with the workers is dealt with. Captured, tied up, beaten, poor bastards. Oh, no, that was me. Are you sure this her Q fellers ain't just using us? Almost certainly. But he's the best chance we have right now of getting out of this place. True. <laughs> it won't be long before someone figures out who we are and sends word to the U.S. So what happened with John and that bank? Oh, he's yeah. Survived. 
he I'm got right here, Jose, arrested, the right? The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. So that we'd come get him on the roof. and I get captured? See. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. What are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos fell off. in the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos... It's all your fault. I begin to wonder. <laughs> That's what I think. <laughs> for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I uh, still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. We are close. Well, I mean... The door is stuck. You will have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. Dutch, that's just life. I mean, someone else's plan going according to plan and yours isn't. Why come help me with this? Just lift it. How do I do it? Okay, then. Oh, you're just gonna do it for me. I don't have to- Oh, wait, I do have to do something. <laughs> oh, fancy oh, that. that's it. Oh, wow. She called us weak. Rude. 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 She said debut. Which is weak. Then you pay more. Okay. We don't have any more, though. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. Oh, oh. What? Wait, Dutch. Wait, don't kill her. Can I intervene? Just knock her out. Wait, is she dead or is she knocked out? What was that? Horrible old crone. Is she dead? She killed oh, she she's dead. She was us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She so was. do I. No. You keep killing folk, Dutch. I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? He's paranoid as fuck. Listen, <clears throat> son. Oh. You think I want any of this? There's the mental I don't manipulation. Of I don't. <laughs> but I made a pledge to you all. The emotional we manipulation is there. No matter what. So how did you know she was gonna betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading You us. said it was Spanish. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings. Or Inconsistencies in your story there, Dutch. Dutch is going fucking crazy and you cannot... Oh, you cannot convince me otherwise. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> My mother be like... That's what they always say. I come from Mexico. I never met those men. Does anyone believe him? Mr. Simon doesn't believe you. Even the mule doesn't believe you. Eso no fue para tanto. Así que deja de actuar. Sabemos que no estuvo tan fuerte. Fue bastante duro. No. La próxima vez será aún más duro. It's interesting that they bueno, kind of used a different word for hard depending on the context. I don't know. I don't know, it's just interesting. <laughs> I would have used Duro for both of those sentences. But... Oh my god, my nose. <laughs> no, let's not fuck this up. Let's not fuck this up. They're all listening to that fool. They won't notice us if we stay quiet. Okay, okay, let's stay quiet then. Oh, can we- oh, can we stab these motherfuckers? Deal with them. Well, I'm sure you got some ideas. Shut up and help me kill them. Okay, okay, we got our knife. Which I'm one am I- now. okay. You take the one on the right. I'll take the left. Okay, 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 okay. And ba dum ba dum oh, oh, oh. Alright, very so nice. Count to three. Okay, let's hide the oh, bodies. Oh, okay. You grab that one. Okay, okay. Let me go grab this real quick. Take it easy. Take it Over easy. Here. I love the Spanish language so much. Oh my god, I just wish I was fluent. Like, that's my- that's my dream. I dropped the guard! Let's head around the back of the building and see if we can find a way through. You know, my second dream is that when I press a button, it will actually be pressed. That- that's the real dream right there. 
What am I doing? Oh, are we gonna go through the window? Let's go in there. Uh, well, you know me, Arthur will cause ourselves a little distraction and then poof, we will disappear. All right, but who's gonna die in that process of that plan? Um, hopefully you. Get a taste of your own medicine. Take the other side of this door. I don't know how they didn't see me when I did that. <laughs> but they didn't. <laughs> I'll wait for guards to leave. Sabias. Different um, conjugation than I usually hear. Okay, you take the nearest one on the left. I'll deal with his friend. What is that? Imperfect tense? Sabias? Bye bye. I like how just one little stab gets them. I love that for me. I approve. Over here. Wait, what's this? Can I grab this? Oh, no, no, no. Yes, no, no, no. Oh my god. Sweet. You know what? Forget it. I don't need it. I don't fucking need it. I could have gotten one of them, but I don't even care anymore. Alright, what are we... Are we going through... Okay. This? Now we need to create a diversion. Oh, uh, what do you think? Find another old lady to strangle? <laughs> oh my that god. That is enough, Arthur. This is a war. Well, if this is a war, then we need to start blowing some stuff <laughs> up. <laughs> exactly. Yes, yes, dynamite? yes, yes. Oh no, we don't need dynamite. We got a furnace. And lots of sugar. Sugar? Oh yeah. Are we doing a chemical reaction thingy? No problem. You'll see. <laughs> I never took chemistry. Go close to the windows and the doors. I should have. Go on quick. But I didn't. Oh wait, 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 I gotta do, I gotta do this. Create enough dust. This place will go. You know, I know I have a bachelor's now, but I would totally be down to just take chemistry at a community college just so that I fucking know what it, what it is, you know? I have no idea what chemistry is, um, unless it's person to person, but that's probably it. Wait, what? Oh, here, 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 here. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'd totally take a chemistry class in community. Just to- just to fucking understand it, you know? Oh, you're right here. I've regrouped with you, sir. Kinley. Um... Am I just gonna follow you? Alright, head on out and wait for me. I'll get this going. Okay, wait outside for Dutch. I kind of was hoping to see him kind of explode that, but... Oh, maybe... Oh. Oh, oh, maybe I'm supposed to go over here. We better hurry. Follow me. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I think I was... I don't know how they don't see us, <laughs> but that's okay. Should I get out my guns? I don't want to be... I want to get out my guns. I'm close to that building when it goes up. Yeah. Same here. Same here, buddy. Can they see me? I'm in a bush. Come on. We can hide behind that well. Okay. Okay. That place has to blow soon. Get ready to make a run for Javier. Okay. I'm ready. Oh! Oh, I missed it. Well, I, I mean, at least I got to see the aftermath of it, I guess. Now, let's go. Okay, go to Javier. Oh, oh, I see people. I see people. We're in a fucking crisis. Oh, that didn't quite work. That worked. Yay! Okay. What do you think I'm trying to do? Oh, that wasn't even a person. I think I'm just stupid. Wait, let me jump. Dutch, you're in my motherfucking way. Y'all are in my way. Oh, my sweet baby Jesus. No! Oh, my God! Okay, okay. Wait, there. Oh, wait, there's, there's someone right here. Wait! Oh! That's a fucking problem. He's gonna come up behind us, and that, that's how I'm going to fucking die. It's gonna be that guy. I don't, can I see him again? I don't, I, I don't see him. Oh, I'll just fucking ignore it. Um, 
Where, where's another victim? I require another victim. I can't see one. Oh, oh, well, I, I feel like Dutch is getting all of them. I don't even have to worry. Wait, there's more. Oh wait, where are they coming from? Eh, fuck me. Okay. Ah, uh, could have sworn I got you. There we go. I can't see him. There we go. Okay, escape the compound with Dutch. I'm not doing so great. Wait, is there a person? Wait, oh! Oh no! Where is he? 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 He's like right here. Oh my god. What? Okay, that was a headshot. You cannot tell me otherwise. Are you fucking kidding me? That's absurd. That is absurd! Wait, there's so many people. Wait, this is a huge issue. Okay, okay, give me a second. Okay, 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 okay. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm on my way. Oh wait, they're everywhere. Oh my god, we need to run, we need to run. They're literally so- there are so many of them behind us. Where am I going? Okay, I'm going this way. Is this- did, did the game establish this? Oh, I have to return to Dutch. Jesus Christ. Where's Dutch? Oh, he's right there. Dutch is being slow as fuck. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, see if we can lose them in the fields. Yes. I love losing people in the fields. I'm gonna probably lose myself in the fields. Probably gonna lose my allies in Dutch in the fields. Where are they? They're here somewhere. That's fine. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. They're everywhere. There's so many people. Where are they now? Shit. Oh my god, wait, no, this is bad. This is how I die. Oh my god, this is how I die. No! I was literally in my inventory about to pull out my health potion, my health tonic, and then I fucking die while I'm in my inventory. Okay, so clearly the guys up there, uh, they have it out for me. Okay, we gotta make sure we get any guys that come up there. I need better cover. This is horrible cover. Are there more? Oh shit. No, die! Okay, clearly my aim is off today. I'm not doing so hot. Ooh. Very nice, very nice. Oh, I can't see him. I, I lost him. Ah. Oh. When they move, when they have survival instincts and a will to live, that is when I get annoyed. Okay. Damn. My shooting's a little off today. <laughs> weird lighting right there. Oh. Kind of a weird audio when he was grunting right there, too. He was like, huh, huh. Kind of odd. Hell hath no fury. The water looks so great. All right. Now, we did what you asked. It's like I said. Fusa knows who you are and knows the price on your head. It's a big problem. Uh, I see. But if we can silence him, then I can help you escape before anyone has time to get here from Omega. So we have to kill that him? Way, we all get what we want. We want to get the boat you promised us. And you will. But you have found yourself in the middle of a war, Mifrid. Fuso has called in the Navy from Cuba. There's no way a boat could live right now. 
Hercule! Hercule, s'il vous plaît! Vite! Vite! Come! I want to learn French Follow too. Me. It's such a pretty language. Quick. Everyone's like running or jogging, and we're just like walking up these stairs. I guess we just have super long so legs. So now we have a real problem. Oh, this wait. must be the boat he called in from Cuba. That's a goddamn oh. bullshit. You kind of have to hand it to this feller. Is it that thing off in the so distance? Oh my god, it is. That's a ship. Like. So what now? I thought that was a rock. Any of you boys feel like running? Mm, uh, so no. What do we do? I guess we pull out our guns. We'll get the cannon ID. Okay. Okay. Let's get to it. Alrighty. <laughs> Oh my god, you're gonna make me fall off this goddamn cliff, Dutch. And oh my god! Oh my god! What's happening? Oh, it's chaotic already. Alright, alright. I need, I need, I need, uh... Which one do we want? Oh my god. Shit. Are there more people? Where, where are the people coming from? Oh, there, I see one, I see one. I think I'm getting them. I'm not paying attention to the directions well. Oh, I, he died. Help Hercule, Hercule push the cannon into position. All right. I need a grenade. <laughs> I literally need a grenade right now. Let's go down and clear them off do I have any dynamite? No, I don't think I, I do. We'll guard this thing. Okay. I got lost. I can't see anything. Oh. Oh. I missed it. No. Oh. Oh wait. No. I can still push forward because if we don't, we're gonna die here and now. Okay then. Follow me. This is kind of fun. This is kind of fun. Oh they're, oh, they're right there. Oh! Oh! His head! Oh my god, his head is completely gone. Oh my god. Oh, I got both of them! Okay, I think we can move. Let's go! Oh! Oh, I like this gun. Oh, I like this gun a bunch. Oh, I guess they got him. Oh, did you see the guy right there? He flew. Wait, was that me? Oh, it's the ship. <laughs> it wasn't me. Shit. What do we do now? I think I got a plan. Uh, you I don't know. The left side. Okay. Cover the right. Take the right Got it. Wait. Then where should I go? I don't know. What am I? What am I supposed to be doing? I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh, oh, maybe I can kill those people. One moment. I don't think I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, but I feel like it's okay. Is he dead? He looks suspiciously alive. Okay. Oh my god, things are on fire. Oh my god, wait! Oh my god, I could die. Okay, okay. Wait, oh my- oh wait, there's quite a few. Oh! That was so cool! Are they dead? Alright, wait. Oh, ew, here's the boat. No, we're done. Oh, finish off the remaining soldiers. There's remaining soldiers. I knew that. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need my other gun. I need my other gun. Let's get down to the beach. 
Oh my god, wait, they're already dead. But, okay, I was a little too slow there, huh? Oh my god. Wait, I guess I'll just use this gun, I guess. I don't... Wait, there's someone behind me! Ah! Oh my god. Ah! I'm scared, I'm scared. Um, which one? Uh, this one. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Damn, he's getting closer. What do we do? Two of us must go and use the cannon. You go, Arthur. I'll gladly hold him off this beach a while longer. You sure? Just certain, son. Okay, okay, okay. Only one way to find Oh my god, things are just falling apart. Take how many men is Fusar got? That's the problem. It doesn't matter how many we kill, he will have the money to get more. Oh, great. So we need to kill him. Okay. Wait, weren't we just here for like two seconds ago? Oh, you got him? Okay, then I'll just... Alright then. What am I doing? Where'd he go? I can't see him. Oh, okay. There he is. I can see him on the map, but I couldn't see him in front of my eyes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. We're back up here. I'll get you some more shot. Everybody what in I we need to put a serious hole in that boat. Wait, I'm actually so excited. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's not letting me reload. Okay. The music here is so great, too! Oh my goodness! Come on, come on, one more, one more. Okay. I suppose it would be too much to hope that Fusar was just like on that boat, right? Would that just be would that just be too optimistic? Let's get down from here. Come on. That was quite some shooting, boys. Thank you. What now? Oh, they'll be back. But I found a boat for you. And Yay. you should be arriving on the dock any time now. Great. Micah, go meet with the captain. If he's amenable and discreet, tell him we'll be ready Micah's to set just... sail soon. Sure, Bill, it's just come open. Help me collect poor old Javier. Sure. And cool. It was a great pleasure to make your acquaintance. What a cool section with the little boats and the big boat and the cannon thingy. I liked that. Now what do I do? Now, now what do I do? Can I move? Oh, oh my god, I think I can move. I'm stupid. <laughs> I look like a cutscene, okay? <coughs> Must be dusty. Well, I mean, obviously it's dusty. You don't get this coloring without dust. You know what? I'm just gonna stop trying to talk. Does time pass while I'm not playing this game? Because I swear to god when I when I played this last, his beard was way shorter and now it's way longer. It's been like a week. How did time pass? I thought I was dead in for sure. Hi. How do I not know this? Boys, we got a real problem. Oh, nice yes. Mr. Fusar don't want us going nowhere. He knows just who we are. If he can keep us here for a few more days, well... And what about the captain of the ship here? They got him trussed up like a hog. Guards all over the place. Got us surrounded with gun positions. So when we try to sail out, he's gonna blow holes in us. This I don't want that. This <laughs> fella is really beginning to try my patience. Not that you had a whole lot to begin with, Dutch. I like the man's style. He's thorough, nasty, and vindictive. Yeah, you would like that, wouldn't you? God, I hate this Micah. Instance, I don't see we got any alternative, but we go and free our friendly captain and destroy the artillery. For once, I agree with you. Hair cool? Oh, I'll fight Alberto Fusa every day I can. All right, Bill, you're gonna guard Javier on the ship here. Micah, Arthur, let's get to work. Hair cool? We follow you. Hanale, this way. Hair cool, cool. Very cool. All right. Quick! Let's get up around the back of that artillery post. Wait, there's people like right there. They could literally see us climbing up this like hill. 
Or not. Kind of seems like they are. Are we going to kill them? Are we going to let them... What What are we planning here? They're right there. Where am I stupid? Arthur, come on. Get your knife ready. I think my knife... Okay, my knife is ready. I wasn't sure, wasn't sure. You take out the first guy, and I'll get the other one, okay? Okay. Damn it! Kill the bastards! Wait. Okay. Maybe I didn't Clear. do too well. Explosives. The explosives. I didn't mean to tackle him. I meant to just like stabby stab him, but I pressed it a little too early. <laughs> you got it secured Before properly, the... cowpoke. I think so. No one you. I have my oh, doubts. Shut so up. I can... <laughs> Literally, shut up. <laughs> Come on, run. Look at Micah's beer belly. We're feeding you too much. <laughs> Are they? They're like fighting to get down the stairs. Did you see that? Maybe I'm just imagining it. That's what it totally looked like, though. Okay. Oh, wait, what? Oh! Okay, I definitely like this gun. Oh, wait, I... <laughs> On Earth. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. I hate myself. Come on, it's just one guy left. He's not even showing up on the map. Oh, there you are. There you go. Jesus. Oh, oh, there's there's someone right there. I'm glad we got rid of the carbine repeater when we picked up the shotgun because I love the one we're currently using. Nope. She could run while reloading. Get the and get the rest of them. Okay. There has to be there has to be people up here. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh. Fuck you. Wait here for a second for the others I'll to catch up. I'll get the dynamite rigged on these cannons. Okay. There'll be more coming. We'll hold them all. Okay. Up here, Arthur. Okay. We'll have a better view. Follow the Dutch. Where are they? I don't see them. Oh, oh, but I see their shots. Oh. oh shit. Oh wait, that looks really cool. Oh. Oh, you're dead. Oh, oh, you're not though. Ha ha ha. Oh wow. That was graphic. I love it. Wait, oh, there's there's more where the Oh, I see him! I see him! Wait for Micah to finish planting the explosives. Cannons, okay. Can I shoot him? Okay, boys. We are live. <laughs> I'm sorry, Stand I just back. hate him. Ooh! Okay, alright. Okay. What am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go forward? You going in? Yeah. On your mark, oh, oh my god, there's people. Oh my god, holy shit. There's like a shit ton of them. Ah, shit. Okay, wait, is there someone? Maybe I should get a little bit closer. Okay, there should be people right over here. Or not. the gore. We see- Oh! There's a person right here! Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. There's another one. Oh, right here! Oh, come on! I feel like I totally got you there. What about there? Good now? Oh, there, there's a person. I see him. <laughs> Ooh! That looked neat! Oh, I'd like to loot for a second. One moment. <laughs> I'm basically just getting a lot of chewing tobacco. Okay, we got a health cure. Totally worth it. I mean, nothing else was really that important, but I like the health cure that we got. Was it Miracle Tonic? Yeah, I'll take that too. Okay, so we have to go in here. Is that him? Oh! <laughs> I got you now, you bastard. 
We are all bastards, my friend. But only one of us is some would-be emperor's whore. We know who you are. And nobody knows who you are. Not even your goddamn father. You maggots are going to die. Oh, standoff. I'm sure we will. But not today. And not because of you. The U.S. Navy is on the way. I am sure they are. Which is why you're going to let us leave. Oh, you are dying right here, my friend. We've killed better men than you fools. Do I shoot? When do I shoot? Do I enough. shoot? Enough. Oh, I've had enough of this. Arthur, the rifle? Sure. What? Are you men gonna give up? Let us leave? Rifle? Right. Oh. Gonna die. Rifle. Put rifle! Here. Kill him. Kill him! Did he escape? You saved my life. Thank you, Captain. I suppose you men are my cargo. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am sorry you got hurt. Oh, I like his cardigan. Captain, Let's go. Oh. Gentlemen. Dutch. Damn. We've killed so many people in this episode. Back to the ship. Come on. What happened to Fusar? He escaped? I didn't see him. Damn it. There's, there's evil people. Um... Oh wait, that's dynamite! Oh shit! Well, I mean, it'll fucking work too, I guess. <laughs> I I meant to get this out. How have I never used dynamite before? That's that was dope. Why did I never use that? Fuck yeah, bro! That was the happiest mistake of my entire life. <laughs> that was dope. I could hear them cry though. I feel kind of bad. Wait! Oh god! Wait, oh, I see you, I see- oh, you're dead. Already. Okay. Alrighty. That was- that was easy. Someone else killed. I thought... Maybe- What? Oh! Okay, okay. Do I still have a incorrect waypoint established? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh shit! Oh shit! Okay, 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 where's another one? Okay, I see, I see a few. I see a few potential victims. Let's just go with this one first. Okay, oh my god, I cannot believe we never used dynamite before. That was dope. Okay, um, shit, where is it? I can't, I can't see. I think they're already, oh, they're already dead. <laughs> if I wait too long. Uh, people, other people just kill the bad guys for me, and I love that. Ah, oh, shit! Ah. Uh. See, like I don't even have to do anything. They kill them for me. <laughs> I snooze, I lose. Fusa is up there. In the tower? Yes, yes, that's him. Oh shit! Damn idiot! Come on! He's shooting. We have to take him down. He's up there. Uh, no, I can't shoot from here. Sorry. There's another cannon up ahead on our left. Can you get to that? Left, okay. left, left, left. Left, 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 left. Oh, 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 wait, I missed it. I, I'm getting there, I'm getting there. I'm just getting stuck on everything. Okay, okay, use cannon. Use cannon. Okay. Ooh. He's about to get crushed under Got some rubble. Javier. Captain, can you handle the ship? I'll be fine. Come on. We'll get going with the tide before I get any more surprise interviews with local officials. The captain seems chill. Are you gonna be okay? We'll be like you. We'll disappear probably. Back to IT. Believe me. We'll be long gone by morning. Good. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Great way to start a day. We survived. Really gets your blood pumping, Just huh? Wow. Oh. 
I guess I guess we're making it off the island what then. I, I really thought that we'd be staying what there now? for like, the what do you mean, chapter. What now? I mean, we're headed back to Lemoyne again, and we're all wanted men. We slip ashore one by one. Time to cross dress. <laughs> find out what's what. If we don't cut and run now. Head back to Blackwater. No. Why not? Because the last thing they'll be thinking is for us to turn up. We've been on the run for a while now, and it feels like. I got our luck is turned, you know? I ain't turning back. I had a good run of it, I guess. We ain't even played our hand yet. We just need to put some mm -hmm. more money in our pocket. Give up now. Make our escape. That's not gonna Broke, happen. Alone, they're gonna pick us off one by one. And you know it. Maybe. Not. Maybe. We need to split up. Keep a low profile. Try to track down the rest. Carefully, see if they send any mail. I feel like everyone who wants us uh, is definitely expecting us to go back because they know we're a bigger group. Like the Pinkertons have literally seen everyone in the group. Like they wouldn't they know that those guys are still out there. Okay, though, Dutch. Okay. <laughs> Arthur, you check Shady Bell. We'll find each other eventually. We always do. Yeah. And then what? In life or then in death? We, meet up, we gather the family, we get some money, and get the hell Smutty out of there. God. That's the plan. We all acting crazy, and that's not what I thought we were going to be doing. We have here. been in a bad way. Listen. For like the entire game now. I will kill for my family. No, Any you'll... of you want to judge me for that? That's fine. But that is who I am. You will get your family killed. Anyone disagree? There's a difference, Dutch. I, okay, I'm sorry. He's getting Anyone? me pressed. You will kill for your family. Yeah, but you're also gonna expect that your family dies for you. Lord, I I, I swear to God, that just pisses me off the longer I spend with him. So we've now gone back one by one. Damn, we're coughing a lot. Wouldn't the deaths have settled? I hope the gang isn't gonna be like all slaughtered when I get there, you know? That's just like a little hope of mine. Oh! Pfft. This is why I can't have nice things. The music's really nice. You know, the music is too nice. It, it's so nice it's gonna get copyright claimed. That's how nice this music is. And here I was looking forward to that $10 in sweet, sweet AdSense money. <laughs> it's honestly just such a worthwhile exchange. This song's beautiful. Such a beautiful horse. Look how she glints. Oh my god, look, look how beautiful she is. We're keeping this one. I like her. Oh. She's glowing because of the silver. She's like, uh, what's it called? You know those vests with the silver on them that, that glint when light hits it reflective? This horse is literally a reflective vest. <laughs> Damn, my X button's just getting stickier. I don't know what's happening. I blame it on this game because I almost never use X unless I'm in this game. Where is everybody? Everything looks broken down. Anybody here? Charles? Susan? No, no, no. Actually, I want my, I want my shotgun. Hello? Anyone here? Anyone here? Okay, okay, I'm getting worried. Wow, I've actually Susan. never been in here. Strauss, you here? Some of the barricades look gone. Oh no. I think our mm, I think they got captured or they are somewhere else. They they probably moved. They're probably on the run. They're probably Hello? not even in here. Melton keeps sending us back every day to search this place. There Shh. quite clearly isn't a gang of outlaws. Look, those are fresh footprints. Shh. Looks like someone might be here right now. Shit. Sure, someone is here. There's always someone everywhere. Well, let's look around. Then. See if we can find something for Mr. Milton. Mr. Milton. I'd like to find a poison snake for him. That's enough, Mr. Johns. You take Mr. Bunter and search around back. Mr. Orley, let's head inside. Gentlemen, be careful. Oh my god. I'm scared. Over here, fellas! Shit, no! 
Oh. Fuck! Wait, this was a mistake. Oh, I should I I should have had my knife. Oh, fuck me. Oh my god. 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 Where? 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 Oh my god. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Oh my god. Wait, no. Die. Okay. All right. Uh, I I thought I had my knife equipped in my head for some reason, so I thought, oh, I could stealth this because I'm so great at this game. No, I didn't even have my knife fucking equipped, so I just tackled the motherfucker. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. I love that for me. Okay, clues. Looking for clues. Okay, well, gun oil is important for me, but it is not a clue. Oh, oh my god. For a second, I thought that was a person. Okay, I feel somewhat relieved. Um, I literally thought that was a hanging person. I feel a little bit better now that it is not- Ooh, letter! Okay. Well, I- I didn't mean to take the cigar. I want to look at the letter. Okay. Dear Ooh. Uncle Tacitus, I do so hope you enjoyed your vacation. Lucky you, leaving like that. And you always suggested you were too old for travel. I hope you and your cousins enjoyed yourselves. Me and your grandnieces have decided to take a trip of our own, as the place has become so dreary and godforsaken in your absence. We have gone to visit relatives. From my daddy's side, you are not yet acquainted with them, in Le Cay, a small village just north of Saint-Denis. It's buggy and muggy, but apparently neither is too bad at this time of year. Please, come see us when you can. Yours sincerely, Caroline. I love Sadie's voice. So, I think, I think they're okay then. Well, thank you just have to go there. <laughs> Darling niece, Caroline. Oh my god, Arthur. I guess I'm coming to see you in Le Cay. Alrighty. Time to go to Le Cay. Let me, let me make sure we didn't miss anything in all these rooms. Looks like we left a lot of stuff behind. Yeah, let me just um, rummage around here, make sure we got everything, and then we'll be on our way to Le Cay. Yeah, what has become of our old room? Yep, completely, completely old. Oh, let's just take that Kentucky bourbon though while we're here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, oh wait, did I see gun oil? Oh, oh, oh. I knew there was a reason we checked in here. I knew it. Easy. I want to calm them down so I can get to the saddlebag. Easy. Oh, what is that horse doing? Whoa there. Easy. Look at that horse. I just want to get to your saddlebag. I'm sorry, but it's true. I want the money. Okay, can we get into the saddlebag now? Okay, let's just pet her until we bond with her enough so that I can get into the saddlebag and then we'll leave her and abandon her. Yes. Wow, Arthur's haircut is not fading out real cute. I definitely need to get him a haircut at our next earliest convenience. Okay, 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 we can finally search the saddlebag. Please be something juicy. Oh my god, that was- oh, okay, okay, I was like, I swear to god, that was it? I'm gonna murder someone. Oh! You bitch! Wow. Wow. I have to calm all the horses in order to get to their saddlebags. There, there is- I thought there would be like a jewel or something. I thought there would be a little bar of gold, but no. There's not. I just got kicked in the fucking face and I got brandy, I think, and then I think I got- What, what else was there? It was a, a health cure and I got like two dollar. All my efforts for nothing. Please let me search your saddlebag. Please don't kick me. Is there anything to scrounge around here around camp? It looks pretty, pretty bare. It doesn't look like there's anything. Please don't kick me. Please don't kick me. Okay, well, we're getting- I'm glad we got some stuff from the horsies. That's good. Now let's go to my horse and go to La Kay. Alrighty, well, we got to search all the saddlebags. And... Okay. You're just gonna take me there. We got to search all the saddlebags. We bonded with our new horse a little bit. Um, cool. That was nice and easy. We got some good stuff. We got some health cures, which it, which may be important in the future. I, I mean, I'll always take a health cure because I have this knack of just falling off of cliffs or just tripping over nothing while on my horse, injuring both of us somehow. So 
I'll always take the extra health cures that I can get. <laughs> this horse has really beautiful markings. I hope we get to keep her. If we get to keep her, what should we name her? Ooh, kind of need a horse named Kratos, but maybe Kratos doesn't fit this one. But I mean, kind of, kind of fits this one because of the markings. Something about the silver ashes. Like, I think Kratos would be kind of a cute name for this horse. I mean, what what else could we name this horse though that would be relevant? I don't know what I did right there. Hello, <gasps> family. I missed y'all. Arthur, Arthur's here. Oh, Arthur. Oh, your laugh. Just about. <laughs> Come inside. Come on, look it's raining. <laughs> Sadie. Hey, everybody, look who's here. Hey, y'all doing? Tilly. Hey, old man, wake up. Uncle. Arthur. Hey, Arthur, they got John. Good to see you. Yeah, he got arrested. He ain't hung yet? Not yet. They moved him to Sisica. <sighs> He's been working on a chain gang. <sighs> Howdy. Got some food. I'm so glad we're reunited. Oh. My heart. It feels warm. It goes cold whenever I look at fucking Micah, but... Oh, look. Oh, oh, there he is. Oh, yes. Okay, okay. Hey. <laughs> How did you folks find each other? What happened? Can, can somebody get me a cup of coffee or something? It was Mrs. Adler who saved us, Dutch. After oh. the robbery in Saint Denis, she got us away from the camp before the Pinkertons turned up. Then Mrs. Adler and Mr. Smith drove away the degenerates of her living here. Mrs. Adler, we owe you. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you. It's been real hard, Dutch. We we've been surviving, but only just. What we gonna do? Things have been tough. There ain't no doubt about that. Trust me, I am gonna get us out of here. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. This ain't over. Ain't none of you folks interested in our adventures? Mm. Guess we're more <laughs> interested in escaping the hangman on our tail? Cheerful nymph of the prairie, wasn't you, Abigail? Oh, sure. My fair heart jumps for joy when I set eyes on you, Micah. <laughs> Abigail's such a mood. We buried Hosea Dutch. Charles oh. and I stole his body from the law one night and gave him a proper burial. It was real nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, well here money. you is. Well, I asked everyone I could find, and eventually someone new said you fools were out here. Shit. Give me a drink or something. Get your own damn drink. I love In the way she absence, said that. Mrs. Adler here has been looking after things. Yeah. Now sit down. This is Agent Milton with the Pinkerton Detective Agency. Already? On behalf oh, of shit. Cornwall, Kerosene, and Tor. The United States government and the Commonwealth of West Elizabeth. Here we go. We are here to Ah shit, you. here we go again. Come out with your hands up. Give them to a count of five, then give them everything. Actually, let them have it. Oh, oh. Get down. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh, oh. Did you this is real bad. Stay down, Ollie. Found us quick. Everyone get out! Everyone get out of here! Um... I don't have any of my favorite guns. Shit. Where did- where did the- where did the other guns go? Where are we going? This way! There's a trap door into the other house! We can try to flank them! Okay. Sadie. She's truly, truly family now, isn't she? She takes care of the gang. She tries to make sure we're all safe. She is truly fam. This way, Arthur! Oh shit. Where are you gonna run to now? Climb. 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 I'm pressing it. Take the other side. What? Now I will show strength, and you may mistake it for brutality. There is no escape for any of you. I shall hunt you to the end. Okay. 
God. Coming from the side. Oh my god. Shit, there's there's a guy right here. Where is he? Can't see him. I can't see him. There we go. Okay, okay, okay. Gatling gun, Gatling gun, Gatling gun. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. How do I, how do I, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I don't know where they are. Oh my god. Okay? Oh my god. They never fucking end, do they? Oh. Okay. All right. They're definitely around here somewhere. I'm probably shooting my own people. Oh my god. Okay, did we get hit? Save us, Arthur. Oh, man. Bill and Sadie. <coughs> Are we okay? You okay, son? Sure. We ain't been back for more than a few days. Did we get hit? What, what do we do, Dutch? Clearly, we need to leave. It'll take them some time to regroup. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw, start packing up. Javier, you and Bill, get out of here. Go scare off any scum still loitering about. We need a couple of days. Can someone now, check me out? Please, I think I got hit. Board. What next, Dutch? We just need some time. I just, I, I need some time. Now, we can't go east, because then we'll be in the ocean. So we're going to have to Sorry. go north, I guess. <laughs> then we'll be in the ocean. I just need somebody to buy me some goddamn time, one of you. You'll figure it out, boss. You always do. Kisses. What are you going to do about John, Dutch? Got to rescue him. He's in jail. We'll, we'll get him. Abigail, just not not yet. There's talk of hanging him. It's not gonna come to that. Dutch! Not now, Mesa. Not now. He's overwhelmed. I'm begging you two. They're gonna hang him. It'll break my the boy's heart. Please do something. We, we Why did she rephrase right there? Okay. I'm gonna go figure out how we rescue this bastard. Now? Yes, now. Give me a Doyle's Tavern on Million Avenue. Okay. Okay. All right. Holy shit. See, like, Dutch Dutch was trying to reassure us at the beginning of this episode or so that, like, oh, it would be the last thing they would expect for us to return. But then, lo and behold, oh, they were right what there. A goddamn mess. Jesus. <laughs> Not sure what happens next. The whole thing has been hard on all of us. Most of all on Dutch, who seems half crazed by all we got. Through. Yeah, he does. <sighs> Holy crap. All right. Wait, where's my pretty new horse? I want this one to be my primary primary horse now. How do I take... I forgot how to take the saddle off. Max, I'm sorry. I'm retiring you momentarily. Um, remove saddle. I love you, girl. Easy, girl. Just taking this off. I love you, but we but we have a new friend, and I'd rather like this new friend. Thus, you will be new friend. Saddle up. I think I'm gonna name this horse Kratos. The silver markings Morning. make me think Kratos. Okay, girl. <laughs>
Oh, it's a girl named Kratos. <laughs> I still a great name for a, a lady. You know, if you are a lady and your name is Kratos, you should be proud of such a name, you know? I'm glad we got all our stuff back. That's cool. Like, we have all our guns. I'm assuming we have our money, we have our old clothes. I'm glad we got everything back, but <laughs> I think it's so funny how Dutch always thinks everything's just gonna turn out so well, but then um, we almost get murdered again. Like, you know, like, do y'all sense a pattern here? I sense a fucking pattern. Don't try and tell me otherwise. All right, let's slow down to a trot so I don't run anyone over. Let's try to at least learn from one of our mistakes, unlike Dutch. Yeah, when has Dutch ever really, like, admitted to a mistake that he's made? I swear to God, Dutch has never apologized once for anything. I I'm so sorry. Or am I stupid? But I swear, I haven't heard anything from Dutch saying, Yeah, I kind of fucked that one up, eh, Arthur? Yeah, when has Dutch ever said anything like that? Huh? I haven't heard anything. What? Okay, we are clearly... Something's up. Something is wrong. Will someone help me? Oh, is <laughs> did you see that one guy? He just ran away. When he saw me flop over, he's like, I I'm dipping out of here. What is going on? Mister, are you okay? <laughs> not really. Mister, are you okay? Uh, clearly not. Are you okay, mister? I'm going in and out of consciousness. Mister, you, you don't look so good. Let's get you to a doctor. Okay. Oh my god. Something is seriously wrong. Come on, it's not far. Just down the street here. <laughs> Lisa, give me a minute. Give me a minute. <laughs> Are we coughing up blood? I think we have an internal injury. I think I think we were shot. I think we were shot and no one bothered to check us out and I guess we didn't check ourselves out. No, Arthur would have known. He's been shot enough times to probably know what it's like to be shot. Go on. Oh lord. I can't walk straight. Wait. Oh, I like her eyeshadow. Can I help you? Uh, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. Wait. I think we've been in here before. I, I swear we were here in the last Listen, episode. I need some help. And so it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mr. To you. We've met him. It was the amputation. I'm sorry. I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, that did. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them. I'm coughing. Uh, is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh, yeah, we're coughing up blood. Okay, now here. Breathe. Her, are her eyes yeah. red? Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? It's not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. What do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. Mm. Getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No! It's not possible. Well... Like I said, I... I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. 
Now, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let Something me get you a little bit more is it terminal? energy today. Are we gonna... Not again. Are we gonna... How long do we How long do we have? <coughs> mm. Any problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Look off. Well, at least you're alive. Barely! For oh now, my god! Yeah. Oh! What happened in. Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems. I don't know. Seems as. What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. Slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Oh. Bribed the morgue Good. and buried them together. Follow me. What's gonna become of my body? Um... I suddenly find the need to do a little research on tuberculosis. I don't know a whole lot about tuberculosis. I need to know how many years we've got left. So, what's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or... She's serious! Him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's Sadie. quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? She has. I 
We didn't know if you was even coming back. So she was gonna be the Dutch of the crew. Whole thing hit folks real hard. Wait, she would make a better Dutch than Dutch it. would. Karen's gone fallen fully into the bottom. Ah shit. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. No kidding. So I guess what about Uncle? it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Yeah, Bobby and the Pinkertons said he got the letter I left us. to the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkertons showed up. Yep. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. A state is doing the most. Just who were the sons of bitches at a campsite last week? <laughs> what? Yeah. Seems they drifted down Evelyn? this way now. Oh my god, I'm actually so excited for this. I definitely need this in my life. From I feel depressed. Ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, uh, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, I like yes, him already. Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, and Icarus would have made it across the sea. <laughs> have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Oh. Are you insane? They can't. She'd be oh, great. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them. To, to what? Their Our ovaries? Vapors. Uh, what everyone knew about that. Vapors. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> oh. Heavens above! If just, if, oh, if no. only you knew uh, how delicate she is. Find this guy. <laughs> I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck! I've only crashed twice. Oh, uh, oh, uh, pull on that rope! No! And hope for the best! Shit! You know what, maybe this is exactly what we need, hey, though. Something airy, something light. You get out of this? <laughs> Physically up, up and, away. and otherwise. Right. Time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. And how far how far up should we go? Now one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, uh. liquids over the side, solids. Do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. This isn't symbolic or anything, right? This isn't like symbolic of us going to heaven or something, right? Uh, I don't think I could handle right, that emotionally. Yeah, break through these clouds. Oh god, I'm getting a bad feeling actually. Oh my god. Yes. Heavenly indeed. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. Okay. Oh this particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. You won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. I want to do this. I want to do this in real life. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this. With a little supervision. <laughs> Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Author and Arturo. How perfect is this? My mother was a keen student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Baldassario, so you could say I got off light. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see for miles now. <sighs> the 
get you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Sure. Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. In your I pocket? Think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. <laughs> well, just say the word. Thank you. Mr. Bullard. Bullard? Bullard? One of those. you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I uh, didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd survive. Oh, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. <laughs> definitely Defin not. Yeah, definitely I not. prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but I sure variety don't. <laughs> is the very spice of life, as they say. I like Sadie's style. Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in the mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. 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 See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sissica Penitentiary. Ah, uh, yes. So how are we going to find out from up here we if John's still there? Too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Poor Mr. Bullard. Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Poor Mr. Bullard. You want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny, Nano. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. not working. Are we landing? Hmm. Oh, I guess we're like, Land. legitimately landing. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. That ain't John. That is. Let's try another spot. Okay. This was not the tour I had in mind. Nope, not there. Okay. Okay, ain't by the barn. Is that one of them? I forgot, I suddenly forgot what John looks like. Look a little suspicious, wouldn't you say? Yeah, we definitely do look a little suspicious. Uh, I see some on the right. I know! Hmm, that could be him. Oh, maybe yeah, that is him. That's <laughs> him. Okay. Yeah, oh, yep, that is. I think, I think I- Oh, shit! Ah! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascent! Ascent! I'm I'm trying to ascend. I'm trying to ascend. This oh lordy. Oh Jesus. Okay, now they can't get us, right? Oh no, they actually can get us. Oh shit. Oh god. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Okay, well, I definitely didn't expect that. Now, Mr. Bullard, get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. <laughs> Poor guy. He really did not think he was signing up for this, did he? Well, we kept him safe. He's not shot. I think we got dinged up a little bit, but it's okay. We're used to that. Ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord. Is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Oh, no. By, is it by O'Driscoll's? Oh, we gotta help. We gotta help. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'll pay you more. Where, where are they? I'm I don't see them. Oh. Okay. Shit. Okay. Oh my god. 
god. Oh my god. I think I might need to adjust my feet. Yeah, you should, buddy. <sighs> Sadie, Sadie, Sadie. Did we get him? Shit! Okay, there's another one. Come on, come on. Come on. Okay. There's another one. How are there any Adriscals left? We've killed so many throughout this entire game. It's a miracle. They're just an endless supply, aren't they? Oh, look. Oh, he's being dragged by the horse. Oh, that's kind of funny. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Mr. Pollard, I'm so sorry. Mr. Bullard. Use the rope to pick up Sadie. Look out! There's a bridge up ahead! Okay, okay, I'm ascending, I'm ascending. I'll come down and get you on the other side. I'm trying to ascend anyway. Another gunfight! It's cold! Nowhere to be seen! Lower, Arthur! Shit, 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 Lower, shit. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry! She would have been strong enough to kind of like, uh, you know, lift herself up. But you know, she's done a lot for the group already. The least I can do is pick her up. Oh my god, I shipped them. <laughs> I shipped them so hard. Please kiss. Or not. No, actually. It definitely don't kiss. Let's just try to survive this situation. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. Okay. I definitely want this. These goddamn old crystals. You can't leave it for one day. Let's kill these sons of bitches. I'm trying to. <laughs> Thanks, Sadie. <laughs> and you said I'm the one who states the obvious? Oh. oh, behind us, shit. Ah, oh, shit, 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 shit. Ah, oh, shit. Oh my god, CD. Wait, oh, I see him. Shit. Oh my god! Ah, shit. You get to call these nicks. Okay. Okay. Oh, they're still fucking alive. How many of you does it take, huh? Oh my god, they're still here. Okay, no, there you go. All right. No one's gonna wreck them out. Let's move up and finish these bastards. Agreed. Good idea. Oh wait, there's so many though. Sadie, this could be like a huge fucking issue. Nearly there. Only a few of them left. Sadie, Sadie, Sadie. Crazy. You're crazy, girl. Ah shit. Sadie. Ah, oh, she's so badass. Like we made it. That'll 
show them. <laughs> She's so great. The hell is wrong with you? She likes some adventure. You, an hour ago. you can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're going to hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. <clears throat> He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're going to make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> From a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. All right. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. Hmm. <laughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. <laughs> Good. Because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat. A little one and we'll sneak in and get him out of there you know maybe a copperhead landed you know when i grow up Thank you, i want to be sadie whatever you say boss <laughs> i heard that i want to be sadie when i grow up y'all oh let's loot Ooh, there's gonna be some good stuff on some of these guys right well, yeah let's loot six and a half hours late all right so before we do something with dutch i want to do charles thing because i like him i'm 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 attached to finding out what he's up to and like i don't i don't even know who Henri lameau is i feel like the name is familiar i feel like we've come into contact with them but i literally don't remember who they are so let's do charles thing and then maybe the Henri lameau thing like the fact that i can pronounce Henri lameau that seems like a little suspicious to me that totally makes me think that we've run into them before if i know how to say Henri lameau unless i'm saying it wrong that's besides the point let's let's just let's just go see charles Blah. all right where's charles charles Who are you? My friend, my friend. No. Oh. oh my God. What are you dressed up like that for? Oh, I am a wanted man. What did you do now? Persecuted for my art. Uh, as just, bad as okay. <laughs> I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave. It's what he draws. We will never understand you here. It's the I say, subject I of this drawing. Saint-Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. But it doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the uh. port, and I need a chaperone. All right. Okay, come on. Oh. Okay, he just throws the fan behind him. Well, that's kind of funny. I'll tell you what I want, Miss. Civilization, so oppressive, so stifling. I can hardly breathe in this city. <laughs> yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Oh. Why I thought I would find my way in the country. You can hardly breathe. Puritans. I'll never know. Oh, I feel bummed again. This episode has me putting in it. You did what? Boy! You know, this episode really does have me feeling some type of way. This doesn't look suspicious at all, huh? Are we good? <laughs> Alrighty! Those fellas, you... you shat on their bar. Not pissed. You the shat there? I needed to shit. Uh, hey, come on. A oh boy. Comment was better than any of the drinks they served in there. Oh my god. Well, You're crazy. <laughs> You're crazy. The disease. I'm gonna spread back, things to people. Back. See money lenders. We go another way. <laughs> we go through here. Oh, I think they saw us though. Oh, I think they saw us, though. Quickly! It's nothing. I thought 
I knew him. <laughs> Please do not do that again. <laughs> okay, I'm moving. You know, on. if Arthur swung that way, it wouldn't be gross, but it's just... <laughs> I get the feeling that Arthur does so not wait, swing that way. <laughs> you ain't so none of your work. There is always a heavy demand for fresh mediocrity, but no kinds of radios. Not so much. The new kind. The whole in the face. We go through there. Let's try not to get run over by a train, huh? <laughs> oh, leave me alone. Where are you going, pretty lady? Anywhere you want, mon ami. <sighs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> he was about to proposition her, her being Charles. That's kind of funny. I don't know why, but like, I don't know, I've just always taken an interest in Charles's missions. I was going to buy the red ones to bring out the colors in your cheeks, but then I thought the blue was all together. Hush! Hey, I may know these people. But maybe something gayer. A purple, perhaps? We are in Saint Denis, after all. What are you looking at? <gasps> Men are all the time. Bar shit. Money bar. Oh. Wife stealing. Oh. She got mad. Ingratiating yourself with people. If the purpose of life was to be liked, it would be very boring indeed. I've I should keep that in mind, huh? Purpose ain't to be hated. Hate, love, they are the same. I provoke, I challenge, I amuse during what? Well, Charles is such a character. Propriety. A mediocre life is meaningless. A bold life filled with art and truth, dirty truth. That is something that matters. Well, it's good to know you got a fail safe philosophy. Look at you, pretty little thing. Hello, boys. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> Come on back now, baby. <laughs> well, they're gonna get a nasty surprise if they try to lift up her skirts. <laughs> All right, are we gonna have trouble here? I hope the sailors know who they're bunking with. They don't. They have no idea. <gasps> Is that a Kiki? Oh, hi. Good luck to all of you. I've never seen a cat in this game. Oh, hey, Bibi. Oh, I want to pet it. Oh, I've never seen a cat in this game. Oh, it won't let me pet it right now, though, because we're in the middle of something. Damn, I hope that cat stays there, because I'm going to pet the fuck out of that cat when we come back through here. Oh my god, I've literally, I've only ever seen dogs. I've never seen a fucking cat, and let me tell you, I, that cat, it was looking at me with its eyes, and it was begging me to pet it. Let's go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, shit! Oh, fuck me! Shit, no, leave me alone. You dumb bitches. Come on, just die. Choke. Oh my god, let me just choke a bitch! This is just, ugh! Lord have mercy on my fucking soul, I swear. Jesus. Are they fucking dead yet? Thank God, finally. Come on, you better hope this ship's leaving soon. That took me a fucking moment. I hate I hate melee. I hate it. I hate it in this game. Bye, Charles. Good luck. Adieu. Merci, mon ami. Mwah. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir. Au revoir. I know that might have been boring for you guys, but I really took an interest in him, so. Oh, shit. Oh my god, I think I'm swimming. I'll take it. I'll fucking take it. Hopefully they do not suspect a single thing. Shit. I am- I am in trouble. Wow, I am dying, actually. Arthur! Okay, I definitely was not supposed to fall into the river. Okay, because he runs out of fucking energy. Well, uh, maybe it will checkpoint us somewhere more useful now that we've died. Ah, oh, shit, that was an expensive mistake. Well, there's a stranger thing. Let's do the stranger thing. The no stranger. Oh! Mr. Morgan! Hey there, sister! Hey, so, sister! Hello, sister! 
Brother Dorgans and I were talking about you just the other day and hoping we would see you again. I just thought of her when we were kind of like hallucinating quite well. when we got out of the doctor's office. Frustrated I think we heard her voice. Of our order. He keeps trying to be sent overseas, you know, do something with more challenge, maybe uh, be a missionary. He's a lovely man. Sure. And how are you? Never better. Are you sure? Uh, I'm quite sure, sister. You know, a long time ago, I was like you. I very much <laughs> doubt that. Oh, no, I did terrible things. What's awful your definition things. of terrible and awful and things, I though? I could not stop doing terrible things because I did not believe that goodness existed. What changed? And then one day, I saw that love did exist. And ever since then, doing bad things became, well, not impossible, but pff, ridiculous. I guess I'm just hoping for a, a dignified exit. I shall pray for you. Oh, I'm not a religious man, sister. I'm an outlaw. <laughs> oh. eyes. Religion is just a word. Hearts are rarely pure, but equally they are rarely impure either. Well, that's an interesting way of putting it. To me, God is people and people are God. So we must all do what we can. These people are starving. Go find them some food. Don't worry so much about your heart. The actions will lead, and the heart follows. Can she adopt us? <laughs> I'll still think of you in very nasty terms, as you wish. She just sees something different in us. And I love that. Oh, do I not have anything? Just take all of this. It's not letting me donate those. You know what, sister? Oh, maybe it was? I, I have no idea. I've already got plenty of food on me. They could just eat my... <laughs> you are wonderful, Mr. Morgan. Now, that ain't true. Oh, I meant wonderful, but... Wonderfully so bad. <laughs> As you wish. She just sees a different side in us, and I love that. Consider your good deed done for the day. Oh. I won't subject you to any more benevolence. <laughs> She's got a little bit of attitude on Sister her, and I love Ethel that. Makes a fabulous stew. They will be so happy. Oh, I'm glad I could help out. Oh, bye, sister. I'll see you later. All right, what to do now? Yeah, well, let's do something with Dutch then. Well, actually, let's get our hair cut, like just real quick, just like real quick. Welcome. Please take a seat. So, what do you need? <sighs> All right, what should we do with our hair? Arthur looks sick. Am I stupid? Has he always looked like that? Or his eyes, like, and the skin around his eyes. He looks really rough, you guys. Extra clean shaven. Let's do extra clean shaven. That looks better. He'll grow back anyway. <sighs> Arthur. Well, I guess we're all done here. Doesn't look good, you guys. All right, it's time to do something with Dutch. Let's go see what we're supposed to do with him. All righty, Dutch, where is you? Oh, wait. I kind of want to talk to everybody in camp real quick. Morning. Reverend, it's good to see you again. You too. But this is a mess. A real mess. You're not wrong. I uh, know. Not good wrong. Good to see you again. What do we do now? Clearly, we need to move. I'll speak to Dutch. Alrighty. Let's see if we can find anyone else to talk to. Our group just gets smaller and smaller, don't it? Good to see you again, Uncle. So, Molly ain't around? No, not for a while now. You boys sure returned with a bang. And we always seem to these days. What do you mean? Where's Molly? Okay. Just Wait! I'll leave you to it then. What do you mean, Molly? What? Wait, where's Molly? I almost wish we were back in Guarma. I know. Um. Well, try to keep your head straight. Um. Okay. Um. Did Molly just fucking leave the group permanently? Well, we're back. That was some coming home party. We need to get out of here. I'll speak to Dutch. Are there any of the ladies? Where's Tilly? Where's Where's Mary Beth? Abigail? No, this is not Abigail. I'm starting to wish we'd stayed on Guam. I didn't lead them here, Morgan. I swear it. Hmm, but you asked uh, around a lot. It don't matter either way. They probably would have found us even if Bill had found the letter like we did. I don't know, the Pinkertons just follow us no matter what we really do, so... See if we can find one of the ladies and then we'll go speak to Dutch. I think I hear Tilly. 
Look at Swanson, he's helping out. He really did clean up his act, like Sadie said. Uh huh. Morning. Good to see you again, Mr. Strauss. But under what circumstances? Ah, uh, no. It's good to see you again, despite the circumstances. You too. But what do we do now? I'll talk to Dutch. We need to move. As soon as possible. We've got a couple of days. Well, don't give up on everything just yet. Uh-huh. Yeah, Arthur. Karen. Good to see you again, Karen. Where's Molly, by the way? Nobody's seen her in ages. Good riddance, I say. <gasps> Huh. Is she okay? okay? Is she safe? Good lord! Anyway, I'll leave you to it. All right. Some reunion, huh? Well, at least you're alive. So what now? We gotta get out. We got a couple of days to yeah. work that out. Wow, no one has like really anything interesting to say except the Molly thing. Jack's asleep. All right, let's nap and then let's go talk to Dash. Oh wait, Grimshaw. Let's talk to Grimshaw real quick. Good morning. Morning. How are you feeling about everything? I am feeling that we are a family, and you have all lost sight of that. Yeah. I ain't lost sight of that. Dutch has, though. Whatever. Okay. So she, we know how Grimshaw is feeling. She's not feeling great. All right, y'all. We've talked to everyone that I can find in camp. We've taken a little nap. Let's go talk to Dutch. Let's go see what Dutch is up to. See when we're going to move, how we're going to move. I don't know where we're gonna go next. I, I really, I, we're kind of running out of options here. We should probably disband the group entirely. I already wish this day was over. That's such a fucking mood, Strauss. Anyway, yeah, we're definitely kind of running out of options here. Oh, Arthur. hi. So what do you want? We're back. Hello. Mm, that fool Williamson let him write to us. I don't know. Not don't on purpose, at now. least. All right, Dutchy de Dutchy de Dutch. What are we doing today? You okay there? D4. What? Working it all oh, out. Okay. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here, and I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those Oilian actors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us, Arthur. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just, well, I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. <laughs> but the, the game ain't over, Arthur. It's I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my... My final move, but I guess I'm more interested in saving He's going crazy. winning a chess. And maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tight. Bro! Now, what about the women? You sound like Hosea. Someone asked you. Oh? Um, I asked you a question. He misses what Hosea. Do you think? Interesting. We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. Sorry, I'm wondering if Dutch is inconvenienced by Hosea's death or if he genuinely misses him. You know? Yes, they chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur. What? Do you have my bag? You know I do. Always, Dutch. You know I fucking do. But there's more than your bag to worry about. You need more money. We've been on the run for months now, and I seen you killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we there is country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek, I believe we could hold. Okay. You and Charles, you could take folks up that way. Micah and I need to do some reconnaissance. You and Micah. I ain't got a final plan yet. You Why and Micah. I just need time. It's a precious resource. And no traitors. Why do you think- why are you looking at me? Like I'm the one that's gonna betray you. Look at Micah! When I was editing the last episode, you know, he was saying something sketch when we were at the bank. They knew we were coming. Just like your fairy job in Blackwater. Ain't nothing like that. And I was just like, mm. What if Micah's the one that told on us? Or what if he's responsible for Blackwater, you know? Yeah, I think Dutch is definitely descending more and more into fucking craziness. Well, Arthur said something to Sadie a little bit ago about how he's just gotten worse over the years. Charles, be right with me. Always. 
Where are we headed? Up past Butcher Creek. It's Murphy Brute Country. That's why I'm asking you to ride with me. What does that mean? I'm ignorant. I'm confused. What, what do you? I don't understand. Why are we? Why are we asking him specifically? There was something significant there. We're looking for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Hmm. We'll see. What does that mean? No, tell me more now. I need to be prepared. Uh, what do you mean? I'm You'll see. That's so cryptic. Am I taking my horse? Let's go, girl. We need to get this done fast. Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? Oh, uh, let's take the canoe. So, yeah, a boat should probably be try a good for a boat idea. or not. Okay, good. No, let's try for a boat. We always it's ride. Good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in San Denis. Real yeah. brave drawing them off us like that. I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Hosea. Mm. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. I vote Sadie now, to be our new leader. Find that spot back there. I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition of yours. Huh. Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. Mm. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? No, Guarma. Well, not exactly. An island off of there called Guarma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? Yep. A tropical island. Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, yeah, but we didn't have any money or the rest of you guys. I guess it didn't exactly yeah. live up to his ideals. He wants to be rich and vacationing. I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Oh. Perhaps not. But he's always managed to figure things mm. out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just Interesting. It's been. I guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Mm. Of course. It seems like Arthur was trying to bring up to Charles the possibility that Dutch may not be able to be trusted quite in the way that he has always been to the gang. But Charles kind of shut that one down. He's like, well, he's always figured it out before. So, But it's interesting that Arthur was testing the waters right there with how he was approaching that conversation. It's also interesting that, uh, to Dutch's face, Arthur is, of course, very loyal, but he's... There's the bridge! There are seeds of doubt. Um, there are seeds of doubt in Arthur now. There and they're blooming. News, where am I going? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, now I know where we're going. Now I know where we're going. Now I know what's happening. Easy. This looks beautiful. Look at this. Well, it's rainy. Anyway. That'll do. Come on! Let me get any guns. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on here. Okay. Uh, there we go. There we go. Okay. I'll have to control the gun. Shit. So I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into rains fall and the eagle flies. Oh, yeah, I remember those guys. To help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Oh, that's great. Things are bad there. Oh, that's not so great. <laughs> surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble and heading in the war. Yeah. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. We're gonna need to be careful. Huh. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of Oh, them. shit. And Dutch right. thinks it's gonna be the safe place? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Well, Hiding up here. Not a crazy idea. But it is if we're gonna run run into that gang though. Even the law. Of course Dutch doesn't just mention this. He thinks it's it won't be pretty. Dutch thinks it's just gonna so all turn out just okay, you know. 
Jesus. I'm getting so tired of Dutch. I really am. He has his moments, but I swear to God. Arthur needs to be leader or Sadie. I said what I said. I meant what I said. I have no regrets with what I said. Really pretty. The water in this game looks really realistic. Um, the further away it is from you. <laughs> oh. Around the edges, it looks a little, a little weird, a little odd, but the deeper you are into the water, the better it looks in my opinion. There's a weird flash of something right there. What was that? really beautiful moments. Us being on the water. I'm glad we canoed instead of um, rode the horses. That's this is nice. This is real nice. Who are they? The locals. Uh, they don't look too friendly. Shit. Until you meet the Murphys. Well, are we gonna park? All right. Let's there walk we go. From here. Hopefully it's all okay. Um... Good evening. I'm scared. You know how we get to the caves at Beaver Hollow? Y you'll get away if you know what's good for you. Oh, okay. They're not gonna help us. I'm pretty sure it's to the north, up the road here. All right. She scared me a little bit. Oh. Or she sounded scared, but she. Sh but also she scared me a little bit. <laughs> such so beautiful. This is such a beautiful shot right here. The way the moonlight is lighting up our, um, the muddy, the mud, the muddy mud. <laughs> it's nice. It's just peeking through the trees right there. There's just so much to appreciate in this game, isn't it? Isn't there? He's Murphy Hill, stranger. Might watch where you wander. I really don't think we should settle here. I don't think this is the solution to our problems. That's just me, though. That's just me. That's just what I'm thinking, though. It's a bit of a walk. You could grab those horses if you want. Probably won't miss them if we get them back by morning. Sounds good to me. Sounds excellent. Should I follow? You, Charles? All right, all right. Yeah. You can see why folks don't want to come around here. Maybe that's why we exactly why we will be safe. Place. Lots of stories of people going missing around these parts. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Guess that's good for us. Assuming these inbred bastards are willing to part with their home, which I'm sure they won't be too pleased about. No. But I believe they hide out all over Roanoke Ridge. These caves are just one of their spots. Which is why we should keep it down. They might have lookouts around. What do you mean keep it down? Okay. Oh, so, wait, are we murdering people? Are we clearing it out? I thought we were just scoping. I thought we were just scouting. I didn't realize we'd be killing people. I should have known. <laughs> you see that up ahead? That's stupid. I, of course Slow we're going to be killing people. Keep it quiet. It could be some of them. Of course. Of course, of course, of course. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Alrighty, let's do that. Follow me. Stay quiet. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get closer to him. All right. If you insist, I'm ready to stab some bitches. I suppose. Come on. Up this way. All right. I'm right behind you. Have we heard of this gang before? I swear to God we haven't. Murphy? Murphy gang? Definitely Murphys. I say we deal with them from here. You take one, I'll take the other. Because I do the skinning. Well, how about I do the skinning? Then who do the carrying? You're a son of a bitch, you know that? Oh shit, shit! No! Oh shit! Oh shit! Ah! 
Ah! This didn't work. Uh, I thought Charles was gonna help us out a little bit. Guess not. To be fair, I don't know what I was thinking. Clearly, I kind of sucked right there. I should have known. I should have fucking known. Where is he? Where is he? He's over here. There you are. Okay. Let's see what's going on. That's a stagecoach we're missing. Jesus. Oh, good lord. They must be in the cave. Oh, no. That's bad. I don't want to get on with this. I don't actually want to get on with it Good. at all. <laughs> what do you think? I'm gonna head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. The dynamite. That'll be safer. That'll be fun. Yeah. That'll be pretty. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. Dynamite just sounds like so much fun. I'm really upset that we didn't use it sooner in this game. Like, willingly, you know? You know? Oh god. Look at that! Okay. Get in a bit closer and then throw it into the cave. There's a person, like, right there. Hey. Dynamite, Arthur. Okay, okay, okay. It. Um, what do we want? This. Oh my god. Wait, they're already like. Oh, wait, we have to get in there? Why do you want to go in there? We should just wait for them to come out here. Oh shit! Oh my god! What? Oh my god! Oh, this is the problem. This is the problem. Shit. Oh my god. Jesus Christ! Oh my god. Oh! Oh, this is a fucking issue. They were just all on me at once! Jesus! I- Oh, they just came out from the shadows. I was stupid. I was stupid. What the fuck was I thinking? Oh! Oh! Oh my god! Oh, he just ran at me. I thought my health was doing pretty okay. I guess not. Let's, let's just retry that checkpoint. Did I die? Oh, Jesus. Charles has died. Well, Charles should be able to take care of his goddamn self! I can barely keep myself alive! Why- why do you expect me to keep everyone else around me alive? We've got visitors! Ah, oh, shit. Shit! Looks like it's on then, Charles! Okay, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh! oh. I don't want to push in! They're all like right here! I have no need to push in! Alright, alright, wait! Okay, Arthur! You were wrong! Crazy sounds of bitches. Someone's down there. She's alive. Come on, come on. I'm sliding. I'm slipping and sliding. the others. There's more. Where are they? Come on. Why isn't that one dying? Come on. Die. Die. Oh, they both died from that one shot. I love that. Wait, wait. Why are you not dead still? Oh my god. Wait. How do I, how do I help you? I can't, I still can't help you. Are they good? Are we good? Shame more. Not for now. Come on. Let's get that poor girl out of the 
Where's the... Wait, where's... The, I don't see her. Oh, she's in right here. I'm sorry. Just calm I'm blind. Down. Don't touch me. It's okay, miss. We ain't gonna hurt you. How do I open this? Please don't kill me. How do I open this? Open cage. There we go. Sw oh, I'm not. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're safe. It's okay. It's time to go. What's your name? Let's go. Where are you from? Antisburg. What do we do with her? Take her back Take to camp. Her then. I'll go get the others. Sure. Or or that. <laughs> Miss. You okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Seems nice. Uh, I want to know more about her. I want to know what's Annie's the story bird, behind right? her. Yes. They. 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 they um. It's okay, it's okay, miss. The others, they. They killed them. You don't have to talk You're about safe it. Now. If you don't want to. Just try to breathe. They're animals. <laughs> we shouldn't settle here. I know. We really should not settle here, should we? <laughs> God. It's all right, miss. Oh, that's beautiful the way the light is dabbling through there. Some folks just evil. Ain't no point trying to explain it. Yeah. I haven't slept in days. Oh, you can sleep right now. You're safe with us. I know. What's your name, miss? It's okay. <laughs> Meredith. Meredith. You're gonna be home soon, Meredith. That's a great name. This will all be over. I love that name. Thank you. Where in Annisburg? One of the mining cottages. Um, <laughs> if you get me to the main street, I can show you from there. Okay. okay. Just try to relax now. Yeah. Oh. I had a suspicion, and I still fucking let it happen. I hate myself. I'm literally the worst escort out there. <sighs> so we're in a new town. We can drop her off right here. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank God. I feel so bad for her. Which place is yours? Up at the top of the hill. It's near the blacksmith. Come on, then. Ma! Ma! Meredith! Oh, she's alive! Oh, she's alive! You saw some pretty bad things, I'm afraid, man. The Murphy group got her. Oh, my God. How did you manage uh, to... I just ran into them and found her. Oh, thank you. Here, let me give you this. Why does that look like an older Abigail? This, this okay. mother? Looks like an thank older you. Abigail. Uh, this might have got it. That little smile that he gave that woman. It's a really beautiful smile. Arthur, it's such a nice smile. This is down. Oh no. You leave me alone. You just leave me alone. What? Thanks, buddy. Oh, it's a client. Oh, she's still. She's still prostituting herself. So she moved from San Denis to Annisburg, too, then. She didn't look too great. <laughs> this episode's kind of depressing me, y'all. I mean, when have we had an episode where I wasn't, like, depressed or someone hasn't died or something bad hadn't happened? I mean, this game's kind of just depressing, <laughs> just How in general. Okay. 
Found a girl. I took her home. Oh. You and Micah find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Ah. That ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, George! Molly's you back! Me? Molly's back! Drunk as Saint Denis! You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit! Back Who and you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, almighty! Calm down. I won't be ignored. George Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't your stooges. Calm yourself. You don't owe me nothing. Miss. I don't owe you nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry? What? Yeah, I told them. Oh, I the Pinkertons. Them now I've got God's ear. You told who? What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? Don't kill her. I loved you, you goddamn bastard. Go on, shoot don't, me. Don't do it, Dutch. Worth. Don't do it. You told on me. Oh, you you're betrayed. Not so don't do it. Bad. Calm down. Don't do it, Dutch. Arthur? <laughs> Get her out of here. You know the rules. Don't do it. So big now. Hurry, your majesty. You take her. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, but... all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Right. Get back to work. Yeah. There's no, like, real excuse for what Molly did, but, you know, Dutch just treated her like fucking shit, and so she went a little crazy, and... <coughs> Everything's just turning to, like... Everything's just going wrong. <sighs> Dude, there's just always someone dying, or... Woman. You think I wanted to shoot her? You seem to like it. I saw that beady look in your eyes. You're drunk again. And you're a fucking murderer. She broke the rules. She did no such thing. She was in love. <sighs> Sour face, old crow. Goddamn you. Murderer. Murderer! Just everything's going... Everything's going wrong. Then I... I fucking get it! <laughs> Dutch woke up one morning and decided that he was just done with her. And he no longer loved her or cared about her or anything. He just, he just was done. And he, he just expected her to be like, okay with it. With no consequences to what he did. Like, why does everyone blame her and when he's the one that just got bored and just dropped her like she was nothing and just just threw her away like garbage and then i'm actually surprised about grimshaw because grimshaw always has a soft spot for the girls but maybe molly wasn't included in that it, it just pisses me off that no one stops to think why molly really did what she did like she said it she loved him and then he threw her away and expected her to be okay with it and i <laughs> And Arthur's fucking sick, and I just- I can't with this game anymore! I- You know, just- just once in this game, I- Just really wish there was just a moment, and I guess we had one with the hot balloon, where everything just felt okay, but- That goes up in flames too, like nothing ever goes right. <laughs> I'm almost- I'm almost getting tired of it. <laughs> I'm getting a headache. I'm getting like a stress headache in the back of my head. I was so invested in the Molly storyline and I, I'm just- I'm tired of everyone fucking dying! I don't even want to play this anymore. 
<laughs> like, why, why, why would I even want to play this anymore? It just reminds me of real life, you know, there's just always like bad things happening constantly one after another and you know every now and then something good happens or you get a little rest or you get a, a brief reprieve but then you know something bad happens again. I'm like one more death and one more Arthur cough away from just like dropping this series. I <laughs> God, it's just, it's just, it just breaks my heart over and over again, you know? All right, I think I have managed to compose myself. Um, that was a lot of emotions I did not really want. <laughs> I, I can't really say I'm looking forward to playing this again because something bad is just gonna happen again. And I think the only thing that's gonna make me want to continue this playthrough is just curiosity on how more things could go wrong and how this this just explodes eventually like we've had little mini explosions so far in the story you know I, I think I gotta continue this game just so that I can see the enormous explosion that I feel like we're building up to because things are just steamrolling snowballing like things are just getting worse and worse and you know like I don't want to see that happen but you know you know that sick drive that humans have that when something bad happens like on the freeway you just gotta watch it happen you just gotta see the train wreck you know like I want to see that happen so I don't really want to continue this game because it just fucking depresses me but you know I also I'm just curious on how it's going to fucking end rest in peace Molly that doesn't hurt at all that doesn't hit home at all. <laughs> Sorry for letting my emotions get the better of me. Um, I'm not looking forward to picking this up again. I am curious to pick this up again. So, you know, despite all the shitty things that happened today, I think we did have some really awesome, great moments that I love to see. So, at least we have that. I appreciated what we played today. I did not like it. <laughs> um, everything's going wrong. Um, I I hope you guys appreciated what we did today and until the next episode of whatever we're doing I, I do hope you guys have a fabulous day bye guys <laughs>